In order to improve accessibility, we've created a JupyterHub deployment on Google Cloud. If you go to pangeo.pydata.org, you can sign in with your GitHub credentials. You'll be taken to a JupyterLab deployment running on Google's hardware. This notebook is running in uh, a container that you have access to. It's a full Linux system. You can play around with things. Running Jupyter Notebooks. <clears throat> And inside these Jupyter Notebooks, we can connect also to that same cluster with Dask and Kubernetes. So here we've created a local scheduler, and we can ask for, say, 30 nodes. This is going to take a moment, but we're now asking the same cluster on which our Jupyter Notebooks are deployed to also launch Dask. So we can uh, look at the workers pane here and watch those workers as they come in. You can see they're coming in now. So our client can connect to those workers. And we can do the same computations that we did before on the Cheyenne supercomputer, but now we're running on the cloud. Some things are different here. We no longer have access to a network file system, so we have to think about new ways of storing our NetCDF data, either using something like NetCDF on Google Cloud Storage with a Fuse file system, or a new file format, something like the, the new ZAR format. I'm going to try ZAR here. It ends up be a little bit faster. So here we have the exact same experience we had before. So here's our X-ray data set with the same data we played with on the supercomputer, except that now instead of reading from a network file system, it's reading from Google Cloud Storage. We can do compute simple things, like computing the elevation, which is a single block. You see that, indeed, the mountainous part of the United States is more mountainous. Or we can do the same complex computation we did earlier. This is firing off work on all of our 30 workers, each of which has two threads. This cluster isn't quite as big as what we had earlier, but it'll still work nicely. So here we're processing all these computations, we're loading data from ZAR, we're computing mean chunks and, and progressing nicely. So this is the kind of computation that we can do now in the cloud. It's the same as what we were doing before in the supercomputer, but it's a little bit more accessible. Any scientist or student can go to pangeo.pydata.org, at least while the service is up, which may not be for long, and sign up with a couple credentials and have access to this same cluster. And produce science just like we produced on the supercomputer, but now in a more open way.